Hi, today we will check the real difference uh, between Spring and Spring Boot. Uh, Spring Framework, what it is? A comprehensive Java enterprise framework providing foundation support for developing Java applications, core MVCs, AOP, security, etc. Release, uh, introduced in 2002. Purpose, build enterprise level applications using modular components like Spring Core, Spring AOP, Spring Data, Spring MVC, M Spring Security. Require extensive configuration using XML or Java based annotations. Flexibility offers high flexibility, but developers need to configure a load, data source, dispatcher, servlet, security filters, etc. Spring Boot, what it is, a REPL built on top of the Spring framework to simplify development. Release introduced in 2014. Purpose rapid deployment of standalone production ready Spring applications. Key features Auto configuration automatically configures being based on dependencies. Embedded server no need for var deployment runs with embedded Tomcat JT under tow. Spring Boot starter dependencies. Predefined Maven Gradle dependencies. Production ready matrix and health checks via. Spring Boot actuated configurations minimal manual configuration mostly via application dot properties or application dot yml. Now we will uh, compare uh, Spring Framework and Spring Boot on the uh, certain features. Just like release year when it is released, it is uh, Spring is released on 2002. Spring Boot released 2014. Purpose Spring Framework purpose is enterprise application framework. This is Spring Boot. Uh, this is rapid app development using Spring. Configurations uh, in Spring Framework we do manual XML Java config, but in Spring Boot we do automatic conversions over configurations. Server side, external container Tomcat, JBoss, etc. But in Spring Boot it is embedded servers just like Tomcat, JT, Undertow. Starter dependencies. So in Spring Framework it is not available. But in Spring Boot, it is available. Yes, uh, Spring Boot Starter, which is we defined in the form.xml. Deployment side, uh, yeah, Spring Framework, var or er uh, we have, but in Spring Boot, uh, this is a jar we can create. Uh, this is standalone. Learning curve, steeper, easy for beginners, because it's annotation based. Use case, find grand control over app configurations. Spring Boot side, uh, this is quick microservices, REST API, cloud apps. Cloud level comparison of Spring, a simple REST API using Spring Framework, this is traditional. Uh, Spring Boot, this is modern. Now we will create an endpoint. Uh, this is a uh, get uh, method, uh, forward slash hello. Uh, it will return hello world. So for this uh, Spring Framework uh, traditional, what we do uh, requires manual configuration, just like web.xml, servlet, config, and more. In the web.xml server configurations, we give this entry uh, just like dispatcher or uh, org.spring web servlet, dispatcher servlet, and then we have to define the uh, path where it is spring config.xml. And on the load startup, uh, we give the one, uh, it will load sub first time this one, uh, this configurations. Now in the servlet mapping, we give the dispatcher URL pattern. So this type of configuration we uh, did in spring framework. And one more properties we have to configure in Spring Framework. This is Spring Config dot XML. So uh, component scan packages com dot example. We have to give in this entry in the bean. Uh, and this is our uh, dot Spring Framework dot web dot servlet dot view internal resource view resolver. And uh, this type of configurations is required in the Spring Framework. Uh, in the Java controller, uh, we need to write uh, this package com dot example and import the controller we have to import these annotations then at the rate controller annotation we used here and at the, res uh, at the rate response body and at the rate request mapping uh, get the endpoint hello and the method uh, type is request method dot get so this type of configuration we do in spring framework but in spring boot uh, uh, no xml is required just code plus starter dependencies we need to uh, give um, so this is the uh, class which we have to create in a Spring Boot is hello controller.java package uh, name we have to define here import annotations at the rest controller uh, annotation we have to give 
then public uh, class hello control and, and at the red get mapping annotation then and the endpoint this is less hello so you can see that the less code required um, in spring boot in uh, comparison of spring framework application dot java uh, this is another file uh, this is the main file actually in, in the spring boot application which we have to create uh, just like uh, two imports we have to uh, use uh, for uh, this endpoint uh, spring applications and spring boot applications at the rate uh, spring boot uh, application annotation we have to use here and this is the main methods you just run the application and if you type this http localhost 8080 uh, place hello then it will uh, print the uh, whatever uh, we, uh, we want to print final thoughts here yeah. in the features wise if we compare spring framework and spring boot so this is boilerplate code a lot web.xml config.xml power file so a lot of things we have to configure in the spring framework but in case of spring boot this is a minimal code is required this is just like we have to configure these annotations and auto configurations is required I mean, in the server side this is external we have to configure tomcat jt as, as, as external but in the spring boot it is embedded means tomcat by default so startup time yes it takes longer time in the spring framework but in the spring boot uh, it is faster uh, dev experience your yeah, manual configuration is uh, required for this one so it is heavy but uh, spring boot it is a de developer friendly thank you if you like this presentation please like share and subscribe ring the bell to get notified of new content thank you very much